Welcome to Retire with Clarity. I'm your host, Paul Gephardt, with my guests, Stuart Fields and Chris Massenberg of Open Air Advisors. Guys, welcome back to the program. Great to be back. Good to see you again. Yes, absolutely, Paul. Good to see you. Yes, yes, yes. And you know what? Look, today I, I wanted folks to get to know a little bit more about you, right? But in the culture around open air. So what's it like at open air? When, a folk, when, the, when the folks come in, when they make that first consultation, what's it like at open air? Well, the first thing I like to make is make sure it's, it's different. Uh, we, we both worked for big box stores for, for many, many years, uh, big box firms, and really it was almost like a hamster wheel. I feel like we didn't get to know our clients very well. Yeah. And so, you know, they would come in or mostly on the phone. You didn't really true underneath, uh, understand their whole picture mm. because you had so many clients, sometimes thousand plus clients. So one thing that we made a pledge to do was to, to get to know our clients and we want to be friends with them. Mm. Uh, we're friends with a lot of them outside of work. They know our families, our, our kids. They know how old they are. They've got a one-year-old, three-year-old, and there's probably not a day that doesn't go by that they say, can you send me another picture? Because yeah. I send them emails, basically big milestones they make, and it's great. So we want to basically get to know our clients, uh, both from a retirement standpoint, from a financial standpoint, but also really get to know them and, and make sure that we're a good fit. So our, our clients are interviewing us and vice versa. We really want to make sure that we're a good fit for each other. And, and you know, and Chris does the same thing. And, you know, when I was deciding yeah. whether or not I want to work with Chris or not, I want to say, you know, do we look at financial planning the same? Mm, and, good point. you know, we want to make sure that we're all committed to doing what's best for the client. So, you know, Chris and I and John and every, the whole team has that same commitment to every, every family that we work with. Yeah, and I think family is the key word there too when we talk about client relationships. You know, when people come on and they decide they want to work with us and we decide we want to work with them, they almost become like an extension of family, right? Mm. Uh, we're going to talk about, again, all these things in your retirement picture, but we're going to talk about your personal, your personal life too. You know, are you married? Do you have kids? Do you have grandkids? You know, I want to know what's going on with them. And, and you know, a lot of times when I work with people that are about to retire or already retired, you know, inevitably, can you work with my kids? Or I've got family that maybe needs your help. You know, and that's, we want to be that trusted advisor for the whole family if we can, and if it makes sense. Mm. So that's, to, to Stuart's point, that's, you know, you, when you come on, you become part of the family. Yeah, that sounds great. Man. So, so basically, we all know what we're doing this for, right? It's to help people with their money. But the why is what we're talking about, right, guys? You know, the transitioning of their dreams, their families, their kids, their grandkids, the things that that money touches, what, what's most important, right? I, I wanted to ask you, you mentioned your team a little bit. I mean, could you elaborate for me? What is the team like? Yeah, I mean, so again, you know, the client comes first mm -hmm. and, and, and really having that, that focus on, on the plan. So no, no matter basically who you're working with, you know, we're, we're, I'm a certified financial planner. I'm not just going to look at your, your, your investments mm -hmm. um, and say, hey, you need to do X, Y, and Z with this portfolio. We're going to take basically a full approach to it, which includes basically working with maybe your, your current estate planner or your current accountant. We've got those resources in-house. So, you know, if you're, if you're looking to that, we can help you interview other people. Because mm -hmm. I like to say, I ask people all the time, does your accountant know who your financial advisor is? And almost 10 out of 10 times, the answer is no. There's no communication between the two. Yeah. So we want to make sure that we're creating a team not only in-house at open air, but basically who are their existing professional relationships? Because there's so many times I'll meet with an accountant and I say, hey, they've got this account over there. They say, I had no idea they had that. Hmm. And so again, that's really important to know, to fill in those gaps. So when they're doing their tax planning, I can help basically do tax planning for 5, 10, 15 years down the road and help fill in that accountant. So that's going to be really important to engage. Same thing with the state planners. Mm -hmm. You know, there's been a lot of changes this year with RMD planning. What do I do with my IRAs? Is this set to be Uncle Sam's best friend when I, you know, when I, <laughs> you know, pass away? Yeah. And, and without proper planning, it's going to be. So those is really important to make sure that your full team, not just myself or Chris, but your accountant, your CPA, your estate planner, and really make sure that everyone's collecting collaborating together. That's really important. Yeah. And just to add to that point, you know, uh, I work real close with a couple of state planners and we actually office together. Uh, and so when do you think most people seek out an estate attorney? 
That's it's, a good question. When do they? So there's one of two scenarios. They either, uh, most of the time they might have had a family member, a mom or dad, that just passed away. Uh, They're going through that situation. Yeah, and it, a life and, event, yeah. And it went one of two ways. Mm. It was very smooth and everything was laid out properly and there was no problem and it was stress-free. Mm. Or the complete opposite. Nothing was in place, nobody knew how to figure it out, and they all needed help. <laughs> Part of our job is, time. and so we do the financial planning piece, but part of our job is to also make sure that the estate plan gets set up or is in place and that, to Stuart's point, all the accounts that we're working with tie right back to that estate plan and do what you want them to do to take care of those loved ones that we talked about earlier. Mm -hmm. You know, because your estate plan lives beyond you, right? Yeah. You get to set up what happens, when it happens, why it happens, and yes. who it happens for. Mm -hmm. right? that's, the, that's the purpose of it. So having that relationship with those professionals, working closely together, and all of those people communicating, and to Stuart's point, it doesn't have to be the attorneys we work with. You could already have one in place, and we just want to know what that looks like and how we can help that relationship as well. Yeah. Yeah, too many times, it, well, we, we've heard stories, not people who work with us, of mm -hmm. course, where maybe an ex-spouse was the, you know, the 100% beneficiary on the designation. Oh, right. So just making sure that you ha you're working with someone who's communicating, you're doing those annual, semi-annual beneficiary reviews, um, you got kids, you know, sometimes those kids, you know, uh, kind of move up and down in your playbook from time to time. So we right. got to make sure that, you know, that those some are Some of them make the will, some of them don't. <laughs> right. Some of them get out of the will and some don't. Right. Sure, it does, life does change. Yeah, yeah. so again, and that, that's, and there's some things that you don't need estate planning for, like beneficiary designation on IRAs, but there's a lot of times trust planning, things like that, you really want to bring it back to make sure you've got that, that team behind you. Hmm. Let me ask you this a question. Maybe you haven't gotten this one before. What I'm thinking about, tell me about the origin of open air advisors. How did it come to be? Yeah, so like I was saying earlier, we were both um, right out our first careers. You know, he worked for you know, a huge company with thousands and thousands of employees, mm -hmm. uh, basically the same. And so we we're almost like on a hamster wheel, and we were doing the same things over and over again. And so if you go travel, if you go to Hawaii, for example, yeah. and you're at the airport, what two cars do you see the most? I don't know. That's a great question. I don't know. You see a convertible and you see a Jeep, all right? <laughs> yeah, right. It's true. And do they have roofs on them? Yeah. No. no. It's open air. People go on vacations. They want to be refreshed. <laughs> These new stadiums that they're making, they're open air. They're, 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 the people want to basically be alive and have a different conversation. Cool. People don't want to go to their dentist's office anymore. You know, people hate going to the dentist's office. Yeah. So our pledge was we didn't want to make come see us like going to see your dentist. Right. Yeah. So Not open stuffy, air. Right? Yeah. 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 Well, and now more than ever with all the COVID restrictions that we all had to live through <laughs> where we were trapped in our boxes, right? Yeah. You know, now more than ever, open yeah. air is like valuable, there right? You go. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, we wanted to make it refreshing. Yes. Yeah, basically, a new conversation, not yeah. a stale conversation and a conversation that adds value every time it. we talk. That's good stuff, yeah. that's good stuff. All right, so let me, let me, let's shift gears a little bit. Let's talk a, a little bit about some current events and things that are going on. I understand you guys had a big mover, right, come into the state. Tesla just came into Texas not long ago, right? A lot of changes going on in the state. You know, what, what, how is it for folks that when they go from, let's say, a state like California, they come into Texas? I would imagine that that's probably a key time for folks to maybe consider a review, right? Because there could be differences in laws, right? That could have impact a retirement plan. Yeah, absolutely. The laws are much different from California to Texas, especially when we talk about estate planning. Mm -hmm. uh, but also when you're moving across states like that, you want to evaluate plans and then the financial plan also you want to evaluate because you, you got things that you may be considered in a state like California, like state income tax, mm -hmm. that you're not going to have to consider when it comes to Texas. Mm -hmm. And to your point, uh, we're seeing more and more folks move from other states to Texas, we're open for business. Mm. You know, and if you live in the DFW area, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, the traffic congestion gets bigger every day. Mm -hmm. That's because we're having more and more folks move into town. And that's where you want to have that established relationship. You know, mm. Stuart made a great point. We worked at the big box retailers. You know, uh, I won't name any names, but the bank I worked for rhymes with race. Right? Um, Let me think about that for a second. Yeah. So we worked for those big ones, and it was, it was not a very personal relationship. Yeah, you know? I hear and, you. and I'm a big stickler for a personal relationship. Yeah. If I got a problem, I want to be able to pick up my phone and you call somebody that can answer it. You know, to that point, we're going to take a break here in a second, but I want to talk to you guys a little bit about your philosophy of customer service. Right, we're going to go into that a little bit in the second segment. What do you guys say to that? Uh, right. Yes, yes, sir. Okay. Let's do it. Do we so have enough time? I mean, I, I, you do. <laughs> but before we do that, I understand you have a wonderful offer for the viewers today. Would you mind sharing that with them? Absolutely. So for everyone who comes to see us, we want to take you through our, our process, our Clear Path Retirement Guide. And with this, this is over 60 pages of valuable data that answers those really important questions you have. 
have you saved enough? How much money can you spend? Are you spending too much? Or just as important, are you not spending enough? So really, let's stress test the portfolio. Let's look at that portfolio and answer those questions. If the market does go down, how will your situation play out? So for the first 10 callers who call in today, call 844-333-6059. We've got over five different offices around the Metroplex, so please give us a call, 844-333-6059. And again, ladies and gentlemen, that is a complimentary review. Something to take advantage of today, to make that change, to get that plan on track. Maybe your plan's fine, and you just need that second opinion because no one's looked at it in a while. Pick up the phone, take advantage, meet with these guys and their team, and let them put together a plan that is in synergy, something that works for you. 844-333-6059. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back after these messages. How confident are you in your current financial plan? Do you know with certainty how the recent market volatility will affect your future hopes and dreams? How much are you paying in taxes? And how much are you losing to unnecessary high fees? You didn't work to save this money so that you could spend your time worried in retirement. Now is the time to take charge of your finances so you can feel confident about your future. Call in during the next 30 minutes of today's show only to set up an absolutely complimentary, no obligation, full-blown financial review that will result in your own customized written plan. This is a $999 value that we're giving away complimentary to the first 10 people who respond. We'll start with a full-blown analysis of what you already have. By running a report to untangle how much you are currently paying in fees, how you're allocated for risk, and what it's costing to work with your current advisor. Next, we'll identify your goals. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? Where do you want to go, and who do you hope to go there with? Is your current financial plan set up to get you there without mishap? Let's design a roadmap to create a financial plan you can follow with confidence. Get the piece that so many people are missing from their retirement. Find out how having a written plan can make a difference to your retirement dreams. Call now to schedule your complimentary, no-obligation, full-blown financial review today. Welcome back, everybody, to Retire with Clarity. Again, I'm your host, Paul Gebhardt, with my guests today, Stuart Fields and Chris Massenberg. We want to thank you so much for being with us. It's been an honor to be with you. We're going to go into a phase, guys, because I like talk. I promised the folks out there, talked about customer service a little bit because you touched on it, why you left this big, bad box group and decided to do this. So before I get to where I'm going, this is one of these areas that this really pees me. This really makes me upset. You know, a lot of these big companies are cutting payroll. They're getting rid of people. And what are they doing? They're replacing them with apps and they're making their customers become their employees. It's become like self-service gas stations. <laughs> yeah. Everywhere yeah. you go, everything you do, it's self-service. Do it yourself. Okay. Customer service seems like to be a thing of the past. Mm -hmm. So to say it ain't so. I mean, what's the philosophy at open air when it comes to customer service, guys? Yeah, I, I completely agree with you. I, every time I go to the grocery store, I refuse to do self-checkout or I ask where I leave my social so I can get a W-2 oh. from those guys. <laughs> uh, but to your point, customer service is paramount. I mean, that's something we really pride ourselves in because I've had the same experiences just like you. Whenever I become the employee and I'm doing the work and more and more things are replaced with artificial intelligence. Yeah, right. You know, robots and AI are, are going to take care of it all. It's up yeah. to you to management. And I, I always say we're, we're all drowning in information, starving for knowledge and mm. wisdom, right? So our goal is to give it that personal touch and to answer the questions you have because information is everywhere. You can go find information, but is it relevant to you? Does it fit your situation? How does it work with everything? You know, I've heard Stuart say it a lot in the past about a Rubik's Cube. You can't move one piece without it affecting mm. the other side. Um, he's much better at solving Rubik's Cubes than I can ever <laughs> hope to be. Or uh, me. We got one underneath here. Yeah. So <laughs> <hard>. <laughs> no time. Yeah, no. But, but ultimately, you know, you want to know how each little move affects everything else. Yes. And it's hard to do that when you're trying to do it on your own. Right. And so you want to have that personal service. And so we decided, like Stuart said a long time ago, that going from those big box retail stores or big box firms, that we were going to have this personal touch. And we we're going to work with families individually on a one-on-one -on -one basis to make sure that we're giving you that great customer service. Paul, yeah. you know, one question I like to ask a lot of people is, do you know the number one complaint about your financial advisor? And 
you know, I usually get the answer, it's returns or it's performance, but the number one complaint over 70% of the time is communication. Really? Over 70% of the time, that is why they're either dissatisfied with their current relationship or they've decided to move to a different relationship. Mm -hmm. So knowing that, we wanted to make sure that we're communicating, giving them the best customer service, you know, basically every week, every day, every quarter, because things aren't stale anymore. Things aren't basically flat. Things are changing all the time. We have, you know, legislation that basically, uh, wants to adapt and wants to change for, you know, and, and really when you're working with a planner, when you're working with a great group who has enough dedicated resources to keep up with the changes and more importantly, communicate those changes to the mm. client, that's when they're in a good spot. Yeah. And a lot of times people just need to be told what to do. Mm -hmm. We're the professionals, yes. so we don't want to give them just a bunch of general advice and say, well, thank you for that good information. Now I'm just more confused when I walked in. Yeah. Yeah. So how do you communicate with them in a way that they uh, can understand? And that's really kind of what brought me into this business. Yeah. Like I understood that people were talking about betas and standard deviation and variance, and people had no idea what these financial people were talking about. Yeah. There was a big gap. That's a great point. Yeah. A, lot of, a lot of talking over the top of folks a lot of times and using internal jargon, right? It's like a separate language. But it's important to get down and talk with people where they live, what it's about, and how it impacts them, what's important. Yep. And to your point, communication is something, let's be honest. Artificial intelligence, all these things that we have now at our fingertips that's supposed to make things better, I gotta be honest with you, lots of stuff is getting lost in translation, right? I remember the old adage about assuming, right? Yeah. But that's what's starting to <laughs> yeah. happen because there's so much left out there and it, texting is, is more at, it's not with, right. right? I mean, we're talking about your financial plan. You need to have no doubt, no doubt whatsoever. You, this is not an area where you wanna miscommunicate. And to your point, here's, here's the thing, it, it drives me nuts. You know, a lot of advisors, a lot of people out there talking about, you gotta be proactive, you gotta plan, you gotta do these things, that's great. Well, how about the advisor being proactive? Mm -hmm. To your point, yep. do they reach out? Are, you re are they reaching out to you? Are they being proactive to making sure they're keeping up with changes? Because to your point there, Stu, they do get busy. Yeah. They, they're raising kids, they're going to <laughs> soccer games. Right? Yeah. Things are going on, they're not always thinking about, you know, oh, I better call Chris and Stu. Well, a lot of times when the market's moving as, as, as quickly as it is up in both directions, yeah. a lot of times that those swings in the market are really good times to look at your portfolio and mm -hmm. review your portfolio because, you know, you never want to lose any money. But when that market does kind of correct or, or kind of pull back a bit, that might be a really good time to reach out to your advisor or better yet, have your advisor reach out to you to mm. let you know, hey, this kind of happened. Remember when we talked about this? This is a good time to come back and, and actually, you know, pull the trigger on a couple of those different things. So mm. it's going to be really important, you know, if you have that communication, you see swings, you see legislation. You put the bullet, or the, you put something in the back of their mind, but now it's time to execute. And right. so finding the time to do that is going to be really important. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And just to add to that point, how scary can it be if, uh, so let's say last year in March when the market takes a big dive, mm -hmm. how scary can a situation like that be if you never had a plan in place? No doubt. Right? If there's no roadmap, you never had any plan. No point of reference. Nothing. You, big scary move in the market, all of a sudden these accounts are down 20, 30, 40%, mm. and you never had any plan in place. Mm. It's wow. a good feeling to know that there's plans in place to manage that risk. Mm. And again, without that roadmap, it can be a scary time. So having an advisor or professional in place and put it all together for you and something to reference, hey, we plan for these kind of events, yeah. right? Yeah. And then you can just check back with that advisor or that professional like us and say, did we plan for this and what were we gonna do? Because you're not the financial planner. You don't do this every day, but we do. Mm. So it's a good time to just review those plans yeah. again and they're flexible, they're adjustable. So we wanna make sure that it's in place and it's working every, every way you want it to. Good stuff. Do me a favor, would you remind yeah. the good folks out there in the Dallas-Fort Worth area what you guys are offering when they call you today and why that's so important to do it now. Yeah, absolutely. So for everyone who calls, we're gonna set up a clear path retirement plan for you. And it involves a lot of things. You know, what does that mean to you? It involves reviewing any current plan you might have in place, or if you don't have one, let's get started building one. And it's gonna have a risk portfolio analysis for you. So we're gonna look at what kind of risk you're taking in your current investments, and if you're taking too much or maybe too little. We're gonna put together an income plan for you. I've been working all these years accumulating assets, getting a steady paycheck. Now I retire. How do I create my paycheck going forward? And now how do I make sure that it lasts the rest of my life like it's supposed to? And then where does Social Security fit into that? How do I get every dollar out of Social Security and how can it be the most tax efficient as possible? All you gotta do is pick up the phone right now and call us 844-333-6059. And again, it's completely complimentary, folks. I want you to do me a favor. 
You've always thought of other people. You've been doing this your whole life, whether you're a mother, grandmother, father, grandfather, business owner, employee. You're always thinking of other people and you're putting other people first. It's what you've been doing. Right now, I want you to put yourself first. I want you to think about all the people that rely on you. When you get to retirement, will you be ready? Are you sure? Even if you just have one doubt, doesn't it feel great when you have an answer? 844-333-6059. We're gonna take a quick break. We'll be right back after these messages. As a good saver, you've been putting away money during your working years. Studies find that the biggest fear of retirees is running out of money. Market volatility isn't just the downward movement of stock prices, it's the size and frequency of change. The more dramatic the ups and downs, the higher the volatility. This can put savers who are newly retired or a few years away from being retired at greater risk. Today's generation of retirees is not receiving traditional pensions as our parents or grandparents did. Instead, we have retirement accounts such as 401ks or 403bs. These accounts typically expose your money to market risk. The last thing you want right before retirement is to lose a portion of the money you need for income. But how do you turn these accounts into a retirement income? Is it safe to keep all your retirement money sitting in the stock market? The last thing you want is to lose a portion of the money you need for income due to market loss. By working with a financial professional, you can learn how to turn a portion of your savings into an income stream for life and income for the life of your spouse if you're married. We all have moments in our lives when we wish we had taken action sooner. Don't let procrastination rain on your retirement parade. Act now before it's too late. Please call our office to set up your no-cost, no-obligation retirement income review today. Welcome back, everybody, to Retire with Clarity. I'm your host, Paul Gebhardt, with my guests today, Stuart Fields and Chris Mausenberg of Open Air Advisors. Guys, it's been a very informative program. I mean, we've talked a lot of things, something near and dear to my heart, customer service. I mean, I'm, I'm a stickler for it. I think if you don't have it, you got to get it. You have to demand it. Talk about supply and demand, <laughs> demand that, yeah. okay? <laughs> customer service, you deserve to have that. Uh, but I want, to, I want to jump into some things. When is it a good time to look into changes of our portfolio. But when is a good time to do that? Timing's everything. Um, kind of going back to what we were just talking about for a few minutes is, is when the market moves, a decision needs to be made. You either need to do something or you need to do nothing. Mm. But how are you gonna make that decision? Mm. So for an example, you know, the market lost almost 30% last March, but we've had the market double you know, in the last year and a half. Yep, right. So people ask, well, when do I need to make changes? Well, I can tell you this, if you're not making any changes in the portfolio, and the portfolio basically, or the market's going up, that portfolio is growing, and the stocks are getting basically hotter and hotter and hotter. They're growing bigger and bigger and bigger. And usually stocks and bonds go in opposite direction. So it's really gaining risk. Every time the market's going up, it's actually getting basically a little bit riskier every day that markets go up. So you need to go in there and basically de-risk the portfolio. Lock in some of those gains because I don't like to go to casinos, but I have heard something. If you play too long, you you lose. lose yeah. So that's a good chance. That's an the opposite is also true. So when the market's up, you can de-risk the portfolio by, uh, you know, selling some of those things, locking in some of those gains, and repositioning those assets and assets that hold a much different, uh, much lower or more attractive value. Yeah. To, to Stuart's point, just to add to that, you know, we've all seen negative charts before. Or most of us have, you know, big meltdowns. We know what happens right before the big meltdown, <laughs> the melt ups, <laughs> right? And so as the market continues to grow and grow rapidly, to his point, those hot stocks get even hotter. And that's when times are good, we never think about times being bad. Mm. The high tide goes out and when low tide comes in, it shows which boats were too far in or too, too, uh, too hot, right? So we wanna make sure that we're not taking on too much risk and rebalancing those portfolios, de-risking, taking some of those wins, taking some of those gains off the table. Uh, I think that that's a great strategy and we don't wanna overreact at the same time. Mm -hmm. You know, last March showed everybody that we could have these rapid decline events, but overreacting wasn't the best thing to do at that time. And unfortunately, I had a few folks that reached out to me that maybe I worked with in the past at other firms uh, what are we? What are you guys doing? What are you doing? Uh, what should I do? And moving all money to cash or something like that and those type of events, not the best thing to do. You don't want to make short-term decisions with long-term assets, mm, right? So that's, that's very important. 
And yeah. sticking to what we talked about earlier with big box, big box retailers, big box firms, mm -hmm. I worked at a couple of firms and they, they rebalance on an automatic uh, schedule. January 1st, they're rebalancing, April 1st, September oh, wow. 1st. And so what happens is, you know, the client sees activity, but that's just really the computers making the decision going back to checking their own bags yeah. at the airport what? now. Yeah. Here we go again. Yeah, here's the AI, here's the apps taking oh, over the world. No. And when that happens, you know, let's kind of go back to what we were just talking about, you know, a hot market, you're killing the momentum of the portfolio. Mm. So what we like to use is more of a drift parameter. Mm. Is when that portfolio kind of drifts, you know, a couple percent either way, that's not going to trigger an automatic rebalance, but what that's going to trigger is an automatic reevaluation. Mm -hmm. Is do we need to make changes? Do I need to pick up the phone and tell the client said, "Hey, the market's done really well, we can make some changes," or, "Hey, the market's kind of pulled back a little bit." what do we want to do? So it really is a good time to go in there and mainly assess what do I need to do with this portfolio to match the client's income wishes, their risk level, how much money they want to spend, and basically their tax situation. So it's a really good time when the market does move to re-answer and re-ask those questions. Mm -hmm. That's so, it's such good stuff. Important to be prepared is what we're all talking about here and to review this on a regular basis. Uh, believe it or not, guys, we're, we're coming down to the end of the show again. Always so <laughs> fast. And we have to say goodbye. But do me a favor. I mean, remind the good people out there what you do, why you do it, and what they need to do today. It, it, it's always about people first. Mm -hmm. um, you know, basically, I've got a three-year-old and a one-year-old, and, and, and every day in my life, I realize it's, it's all about the people. Mm -hmm. um, as I get older and older, and, you know, when you were a child, you wanted... Uh, you know, objects, you wanted things, you wanted the latest, you know, video game. And I realized it's, it's about making other people happy. Mm. And so that's really what we try to do. And communication, having the, the best information in real time mm. has proven a really good way to make a lot of people happy. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Chris. You know, we want to be that expert in your life. If you have questions, anything pertaining to finance. I get questions all the time uh, about mortgages and refinancing. You know, I'm not in the mortgage business, but I want to be that professional advice for you. Somebody you can go to to get that customer service to answer that question that you have. So for everyone uh, who calls in, we're going to offer that clear path retirement plan. And like we've talked about, it's going to actually have an uh, income plan, risk analysis, portfolio analysis, um, long-term planning for income, Social Security, everything that pertains to you. All you have to do is pick up the phone right now. Call us at 844-333-6059. Get that complimentary review, folks. And I want to leave you to this. Relationships. Think about your life. What's made it the success it is? Your spouse, your best friend, a coworker, a business partner. There's always someone along the way in every stage of your life. Who is that partner in your retirement? Maybe you don't have one. Well, today you have an opportunity to start that relationship, a relationship that could change your life. 844-333-6059. We wanna thank you for being with us. Be well and enjoy your retirement.